Hi, I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to show you my automatic parts counting machine. Just so you know, I'm still in the between proof of concept and prototype phase with this thing. It's a lot of work to get the mechanics just right as far as sorting specific parts. But this is what I figured out, and if you're in the same slump, maybe you know what I've done with my ideas can help you further yours, vice versa. Internet, sharing, you know, whatever. Anyway. Here's a preview of the machine, but before I show you all the goods, I want to do a brain dump and talk about the things I did before I built this machine. Bear with me. But first, I want to talk about the background, how this all came about. You might know I make do-it-yourself arcade kits. These kits you buy and you assemble. Now, every kit I sell, I try to include all the parts you need, and part of those parts is an assortment of nuts, bolts, screws, washers, and so on. It, this is what it looks like. So I count this by hand, and I've been doing this by hand for longer than I care. Before I made this automatic counter, I've always had a little issue with the AT Mega or every Arduino Uno out there. I love using the Arduino for its ease of use, but I do not enjoy wiring to it because every board made with the AT Mega 328 always has some kind of dinky female headers to plug into. So backtracking even further, I laid out this AT Mega PCB that has very robust or just big screw terminals that should make connecting things easier to it. I also wanted a built-in or just drop-in ready Nokia LCD screen so I could just have some user feedback when I'm compiling some kind of robot or device to work with. So this is that Arduino that's already built and it's to the core of the automatic screw counting machine. I have a potentiometer so you can adjust how many parts you want counted per cup. There's a hard limit in software, you can make it whatever you want. And just a start and stop switch that will start it and when it's held down it will do all eight cups or if you hit stop it'll finish the last cup it's on. This part you're looking at right here was actually the hardest. Just getting to scoop up a part and then dumping them out single file, more about that later. Here's the carousel as it dumps into it, not a whole lot there. This, again, is the Arduino clone that I made with a Nokia 5110 screen that can just plug into it. And I'm just having some basic instructions saying what's happening with the machine. Here's a relay board. One relay powers one stepper and the other relay powers another stepper. That's it. There's actually two Arduinos on here just because the first one is powering the stepper motor that's scooping up the nuts. I can use a regular motor for that, but I'm just using what I had on hand at the time. So again, proof of concept, many things can change. So this was the hardest part was figuring out how to scoop up one part. And for, you know, asymmetric parts, it's pretty easy once I kind of figure out what to do. The first design had little keyway inserts that you could just change out for different parts, but that didn't end up working. So the circular disc has one little point to stir the parts to get them to flip over in the right side. So fortunately, this will scoop up all the parts. It's just a matter of time before it gets them. And a closer look at the gears or the part scooper. So these are just gears that I've cut for number 440 nuts, number 832 nuts, and then the one that's in the machine is number 632. And the thickness of this is very important because I want it just barely the same thickness as the part it's scooping. So I'm going to have to round off the inside for the number four. This is the infrared counter. It's just an off-the-shelf part. You can find a ton from like Newark or DigiKey. When the infrared beam breaks, the it sends a transition from low to high. 
and you can use Arduino and software to recognize that as a count. The carousel just uses yogurt cups. The cups are from Aldi's, whatever their brand is, Friendly Farms, because everyone's like, oh, you must love yogurt. It's just cups. The, the carousel is just made of these bearings. They're not the right bearings, but I have so many left over from all the claw machine prototypes that I just use these. And again, that's the Arduino with a stepper shield on it or motor shield on it. The Arduino I made, a relay board, a barrier strip, and then like a generic power supply actually used for arcade cabinets because, you know, that's kind of like a thing I do, I guess. I also have to make this subassembly for the arcade parts, which involves counting about 30 to 36 of these crimp connectors. And I made a circle catcher for this machine but these crimps always get stuck so again going back to basics i could count them by hand or weigh them but i'm trying to find an intermediate between that is not so monotonous that you can just do it without thinking so i made this i guess like sifter board that from a quick visual inspection you just shake it until you know all the spots are filled and there's 30 cutouts right there and then you just pull them loose and drop them into a tray, and then you've got a perfect 30 counted. Um, so again, I'm just experimenting with stuff. This is still really early in the design phase to accomplish automatic part counting things. If you look on YouTube, there's so many different ideas in the industrial environment. They're mostly like vibration shakers. And in the like prescription pill environment, it's a mixture of like automatic sorting and sifting trays. It's it's just a mess, but this is what I figured out. So I figured I'd share it. If you have any ideas, you know, feel free to write them in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys.